from live, questionably sourced seafood to salad bars stocked with a variety of local favorites. Your trips to Walmart outside of the U.S. will make you dizzy from doing double takes. Found primarily in Chinese Walmarts, live frogs and turtles are displayed in large, open-top tanks for customers to peruse the way that lobsters might be in certain seafood restaurants here in the U.S not intended to be taken home as pets. These animals are often used in traditional Chinese dishes and are bred specifically to be eaten, as is the case for the soft-shelled turtles used in the widespread Asian dish, turtle soup. The frogs, on the other hand, are most commonly sought after solely for their legs, which can be incorporated into a variety of savory dishes. Interestingly, while shopping for these live animals isn't available in U.S. locations, it is possible to find frozen frog legs online and in Walmart stores in states such as Louisiana, where they are a popular dish. Frog legs are typically fried and are frequently described as tasting somewhat like chicken wings when prepared this way. Also found in Chinese Walmarts, a highly prized chicken commonly known as the silky chicken is famous for its distinctive naturally occurring black skin, meat, and even grayish black bones. These chickens are named for their famous tufts of white plumage, which are soft enough to feel silky. They are especially prized in some Asian diets as a healthier alternative to more common chicken breeds, as their meat is naturally lower in calories and fat. Per 100 grams of meat, the silky chicken is reported to have 2 grams of fat compared to the 8 grams found in the same serving size of the other more common chicken meat. Additionally, black chicken has been found to contain almost double the concentration of the antioxidant, carnosine, than other chicken and poultry breeds. The flavor is described as being gamier than other types of chicken. As such, it works well in rich, stewed dishes such as curries. Another meat that can be found in Chinese Walmarts is rabbit, reportedly available in the form of whole animals. Rabbit meat has long been a significant protein source in Chinese culture, with early records indicating its prevalence as far back as the Zhou Dynasty. It's no wonder that rabbit meat has been such a popular meat in Chinese cuisine, given its lean profile and versatility, as well as its relatively low waste production methods. As with some of the other meat and seafood available in Chinese Walmarts, the rabbit meat is in open-air cases for shoppers to inspect. This style of displaying meat is quite different from the way American Walmart stores often present meat in plastic packaging. This may be a result of the visibly farm-fresh qualities that are highly valued in Chinese food shopping more broadly. Among ice chests of other seafood varieties, live crabs with their claws securely tied up in twine can be found in the fish market-style open-top seafood displays of Chinese Walmarts. At first glance, the crabs may look as immobile as their neighboring sea creatures, but they are presented with their claws bound for a reason. Shellfish are often sold alive like this for food safety reasons, as creatures such as crabs and lobsters carry dangerous bacteria that spread once the animal dies and can quickly become hazardous to those consuming the meat. I am not a crook. I am not a crook. As such, boiling or otherwise cooking them while alive or immediately upon their death is thought to be the safest option for preventing food poisoning. Crabs are used in an abundance of Chinese dishes and have a long history of being enjoyed with wine during the autumn months in particular. Today, popular Chinese crab dishes include ginger and scallion crabs, crab claw coated in shrimp, and crab and mushroom stuffed wontons. Speaking of seafood, Walmarts in China carry fresh squid as well, although its supplier has come under fire for highly unethical fishing and dangerous workplace practices. Investigative journalism revealed that between 2017 and 2022, fishing boats under the umbrella company Shangdong Baoma were one of the suppliers of squid to Walmarts in China. These boats were exposed for their inhumane work environments, including severe neglect resulting in the critical illness and death of a crew member from contracting beriberi, a preventable and treatable disease caused by vitamin B1 deficiency. Fishing ships are often kept at sea for stints of up to two years and are linked to the trafficking and forced labor of captive crew members. It is currently unclear whether Shangdong Baoma is still a supplier of Chinese Walmarts. 
Beyond the issues of this one supplier, the squid industry in China has more broadly been linked to the destruction of squid populations. The industry is poorly regulated, and the massive fishing yields pose the risk of over-exploitation of the species. Chinese fleets recorded a staggering 520,300 metric tons of squid in 2020, for example. Oh, Despite the controversy, squid consumption remains a prevalent facet of the seafood industry in China. While bulk shopping is becoming increasingly popular in the U.S., Chinese grocers appear to be ahead of the game. The country's Walmart locations offer shoppers bulk bins of rice, beans, and other grains for self-service purchases. Customers scoop out their desired quantity of rice into reusable or disposable containers and use the scales on hand to purchase the rice priced by weight. Rice is a global dietary staple thought to account for around 20% of the world's calories, and selling it in bulk may be a more practical and sustainable alternative to individual packages. It makes sense for rice to be sold this way in China, given that the nation eats the most rice per year of any country globally. Once you've mastered the art of making a simple pot of white rice, this powerhouse ingredient becomes the ideal base for a wide array of dishes. Some of the most popular Chinese dishes that begin with various types of rice include Yangzhou fried rice, incorporating shrimp and sometimes sausage into a classic fried rice with corn, carrot, peas, and egg. Another unique rice dish worth trying is Cantonese clay pot rice, typically made with long grain rice, chicken or beef, whipped egg, and assorted green vegetables. Spotted in the pick-and-mix snack aisle among other individually wrapped treats, fermented quail eggs are a single-bite, savory delight found in the Walmarts of China. These eggs tend to be marinated for lengthy periods in soy sauce and are available in numerous different flavors. Soy sauce is an effective preservative given its high sodium content, and processing the eggs in this way ensures a long shelf life. Quail eggs are popular in China and beyond, because despite being much smaller than chicken eggs, they are incredibly dense sources of protein and essential nutrients such as vitamin B12. They may only be considered negligibly healthier than chicken eggs by weight, but their extended shelf life also makes them a lower waste option. Another similar delicacy created from preserved eggs is the famous century egg, thought to be named after its traditional 100-day preservation process involving salt, coal, and calcium oxide. Unlike their snack food counterpart, these are typically made from duck eggs rather than quail and are reserved for special occasions and holiday celebrations. One final group of products that can be found in Chinese Walmarts are the exceptionally unique Lay's chip flavors, including the standout hot and sour fish soup flavor. This flavor is inspired by the hot and sour soup varieties, which are believed to have originated in either the northern or Sichuan regions of China. The broth base is composed of white pepper and tart vinegar to achieve the namesake hot and sour flavor profile, designed to provide warmth and comfort to anyone who's unwell or seeking solace in the cold winter months. The addition of fish to the soup tends to take the form of squid, prawns, or scallops. The seafood can also be accompanied by pickled mustard greens in place of the vinegar, giving this variation of the classic a golden color and sauerkraut-esque finish. Delicious! When Walmart opened stores in Mexico with grocery departments, the company took measures to ensure they'd resemble and feel like the traditional food-selling environment in that country. Open-air markets in Mexico often feature stalls offering big dishes of condiments and prepared food items that can be purchased in bulk. As such, Mexican Walmarts do the same. Some of these self-service offerings include guacamole and a locally favored style of potato salad called ensalada rusa, or a prepared batch of nopales, which is cacti that is cooked, spiced, and ready to be used as a filling for any number of entrees or served on its own. A controversial product reported in some of Walmart's Latin American locations is Suli brand tuna, a Mexico-based seafood processing company notorious for engaging in a form of fishing that actively harms dolphin populations, being that they swim alongside the desirable tuna. The variety of Costa Rican Walmart locations carrying the Suli brand tuna has triggered a media storm spearheaded by leaders of animal rights groups, such as the International Marine Mammal Project. This specific brand of canned tuna is not stocked in any U.S. stores due to the stricter regulations on fishing practices. So you'll just have to stick with brands like Starkist, 
or Walmart's in-house offering, great value. Like the average American Walmart, the big box stores in Canada are well-stocked with a variety of locally popular snack foods. Readily available at most Canadian Walmarts in assorted sizes is Cherry Blossom Candy, a chocolate confection introduced in the late 1800s and produced in Canadian factories since 1905. Cherry Blossom Candy really does contain a cherry, believe it or not. Each very large bite-sized candy begins with a sweetened, treated, and whole maraschino cherry, which sits on a gloop of creamy liquid and cherry sauce, which is then completely enrobed in a thick chocolate shell, studded with tiny bits of coconut and peanuts. The final product is similar to a cherry cordial candy, but with extra flavoring agents and textures. 